Vamos a mirar un segundo los ajustes. Vamos a mirar un segundo los ajustes. Agencia de investigación Pierce Boston, vale, veterano de la Primera Guerra Mundial, ahoga sus recuerdos en alcohol y soníferos, ahora trabaja como detective privado pero le, gusta, le cuesta encontrar un caso que le despierte de su letargo, Pierce debe encontrar un caso pronto o se arriesga a perder la licencia, Uf, me van a quitar la licencia de detective, vaya tú qué cosas, capítulo 1 Ya hemos guardado partida, hostia, eh. <risa> Se lo ha auto guardado. No pierde el tiempo. Vale. Estoy jugando con mando, así que bueno. Necesito luz, estoy cegato. Esto. Ah, vale, tengo que alumbrarlo primero. O sea que hay luz. Ahí, ahí. Onda, mira. Y aquí no había nada. Y las tenazas esas que tenía, ya no puedo usarlas aquí. Qué mierda.
Unas velas de la época. Será por aquí. Qué ofrenda más pútrida. Uy. Se han comido la ballena. Bueno, pues no da mucho más de sí que tirar para adelante. Odio al whisky, dice. Venga, hombre. Pues para odiarlo ya... Ya le mete bien al whisky, eh. Hay uno aquí detrás. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Hace tiempo que no duerme en la cama. Vale. Hombre, venga. Esto afectará tu destino. Esto. Vamos a hacer un borrachillo de este ya verás. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Vale. El médico podrá decir cuántas veces quiera que ya no necesito el remedio. Para mantener a raya los recuerdos. Pero yo sé que volverán si paro. Cualquier mañana de estas es probable que no me despierte. A pesar del tratamiento puedo oír voces en mis sueños, pero esta vez son diferentes, desconocidas. Parecen brotar a la superficie desde las profundidades ancestrales e ignotas. ¿Qué criatura sin nombre es la que me llama? ¡Es Tulu! ¡Te está llamando Tulu! No, hombre, estaba bien la música. ¿Ya no más? Vaya. Hostia. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm mm. calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. But is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Eso olía truco, eh. Volver a pedir los datos. Me van a hackear o algo, seguro. A ver, reparte tus puntos de personaje. Los puntos de personaje te permiten mejorar la puntuación de una habilidad. Vale. Bien. Interesante. Se necesita antes del siguiente nivel. Uf, ¿y de qué le pongo yo a este hombre? Hostia, de ocultismo ni puta idea tiene. Medicina. Ojo. La medicina representa tu conocimiento médico. Si mejor esta habilidad aumentará las probabilidades de diagnosticar, calcular la dosis de una droga o expresar tu punto de vista sobre un problema médico. Bueno, vamos a dar un puntito aquí. Vamos a darle otro. Y ahí llegamos al rango 2. Eso es. Venga. Ocultismo. El ocultismo representa tu conocimiento de las ciencias oscuras. Si mejoras esta habilidad, aumentarás las probabilidades de descubrir el uso y el origen de las reliquias ocultas, así como de demostrar tu conocimiento del mito. Muy bien, el mito de Tulu siempre... A fogote. 
Va, nivel 2. Venga. Investigación. La investigación representa un talento para indagar. Si mejora esta habilidad, aumentarás las posibilidades de comprender acontecimientos pasados gracias al análisis de un objeto o la escena de un crimen, así como las probabilidades de abrir cerraduras. Bueno, abrir cerraduras es bien también. La psicología representa tu conocimiento del comportamiento humano. Si mejora esta habilidad, aumentarás las probabilidades de comprender las motivaciones de una persona según su comportamiento o análisis de objetos. Hmm. La percepción representa tu habilidad de buscar objetos escondidos. Mm. Este, este tiene buena pinta, ¿eh? hay que descubrir objetos, hay que equiparse. Venga, va. A rango 3. Y ya estaría, ¿no? Sí, venga, vamos a validar. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... I'm coming. La leche. A ver, necesito un caso importante, por favor. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. <laughs> Me espillo. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. Oof. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Ah. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Vamos a descubrir. Para eso hemos puesto percepción de esa. A ver lo que descubrimos del cuadro. Uh, qué mal rollo. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Muy bien, señor. Esto es todo lo que has encontrado. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Una etiqueta de envío es casi legible, pero entiendo parte de la dirección del almacén. Vale. El informe policial dicen dice que el fuego empezó en el comedor y se llevó a toda la familia. La policía concluye que fue un accidente doméstico. Sin embargo, hacen hincapié en la fragilidad mental de Sara. ¿Por qué? Un recorte de prensa, un artículo sobre el matrimonio de Sarah y Charles Hawking, un hombre de negocios de la isla de Darkwater, llevan una vida solitaria con su único hijo, Simons. Mm. O sea, que información poca. Bueno, todo será pistas. Como consulto el diario. 
A ver qué botón es ese. Ah, vale, aquí. Y... Si quiero cambiar... No. Vale. Veamos la pintura. Vale, investigación. ¿Qué es este símbolo? Es como si Sarah Hawkins breathed un mensaje en él. Así, Mr. Pierce, ¿qué do you make of these elements? Ojo, cuidado, que ahora tengo que decidir. ¿Qué le digo yo a este hombre? Esto puede estar bien. Pues puede estar bien. Hmm. Respuesta desbloqueada. Entiendo que la ha desbloqueado por la percepción que le he dado antes. Así que... Mira, por investigación también tengo esta. Vamos a darle a... Esta de aquí. The meaning... Could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Vale, pues... Pues, pues sí, pues bien. Hay algo en la historia que... Her no husband pasa. was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Vale, pues... Eh, pues no me ha dado mucha información, así que vamos a hablar The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Así que tendremos que ir a una isla. Bueno, esta es la que menos me gusta, la hemos dejado por el final. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and hmm. death. Era Tulu que se metía en su mente. Bueno, es toda la información que este I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet. I'm on your side. Let something go. Ah. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. Ay, All right. Vamos I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater. And look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. <laughs> Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. I used to be an avid reader. I used to be an avid reader. I used to be an avid reader. Anda. 
Un trabajo denso dirigido a becarios y jóvenes profesionales. El primer volumen incluye todas las enfermedades conocidas del mundo civilizado, junto con sus síntomas y tratamiento. Madre mía, pues sí que existe el libro, ¿eh? Cinco años de carrera para ser médico y con este libro uno se apaña ya. Pues ala. Eh, ¿Qué? Solo puedo rotar, no... No tiene nada. Progreso en medicina. Muy bien. Ah, no, ahí no. Aquí. Aquí. Progreso en medicina. Las habilidades de medicina y oculto solo se pueden mejorar descubriendo determinados objetos en el entorno. Pues ya hemos descubierto un objeto, hombre. Claro que sí. Vale. Estos son los hombres que conozco. Este es el que me ha encargado el caso. Muy bien. Fue una persona muy conocida en Dorwater al ser heredero de la familia de navieros. Solía viajar mucho. Conoció a Sir Hawkins en un viaje a París. Se enamoraron, se casaron y Hawkins la llevó a la remota isla de Dorwater. Tuvieron un hijo al que llamaron Simon y vivieron una vida muy discreta y reservada. Este, este, este es un sectario, vamos, o sea, la Sara, que está muerta. Es una pintura conocida por su atormentado universo artístico. Se convirtió en un personaje de culto gracias a sus extrañas obras y sus escasas apariciones públicas. Recuerdo que una vez me dijo algo así como, pinto lo que, es, lo que los sueños me susurran. Esta, esta, bueno, madre, la volvió loco el Tulu, seguro. Su matrimonio con Charles Hawking hace años sorprendió a los columnistas de la alta sociedad. Una rica heredera de Boston, famosa por salir de fiesta en fiesta, decide seguir a su nuevo marido para vivir recluida en una isla de Water. Seta, esto es Seta ya, hombre. Desapareció de las portadas de los periódicos, si nadie ha vuelto a saber de ella desde entonces. Incluso su muerte en un incendio sigue siendo un misterio a día de hoy. Su padre, Stephen Wester, es el único que intenta averiguar la verdad. Que es este señor, ¿verdad? Sí, vale. Y nos queda el hijo. ¡Estudiante! El único hijo de Sara y Charles murió en el incendio en el que falleció toda su familia. Once añitos. Pobrecillo. Muchacho. Bueno. Pistas. ¿Qué pistas tenemos? Tenemos el cuadro. Es un cuadro. Se observa una silueta monstruosa que amenaza a una mujer y a un niño. A la bella y la criatura. Se distinguen llamas al fondo. El padre de Sarah Hawking cree que tiene alguna relación con la muerte de su hija. Pues ya está, la madre del niño y el otro pues es el marido que se ha vuelto Turuta y está ahí el hombre invocando a Tulu y, y tal y cual. El inventario. En el inventario tenemos un viejo mechero del batallón perdido. Viejo mechero en el que hice una inscripción en recuerdo de la 77 División de Infantería y de los soldados caídos en el batallón perdido. Lástima. Sabes, veterano de guerra. Vale, agencia de investigación de Pierce. Entiendo que esto es como misiones que tengo que completar. Misiones que tengo que completar. O sea, tengo que investigar la propia... O sea, todo lo que tengo por aquí, supongo, ¿no? A ver. The Wentworth Agency does not attract top-notch cases. Eh. O sea, el detective de una agencia de investigación que no tiene casos cases. importantes. Muy bien. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Caso cerrado. The husband couldn't understand it. Una mujer casada se escapa con su amiga. Su marido incapaz de entenderlo. Bah, sería un capullo y se explica muchas cosas. Bueno, lleva aquí esto. Me estuvo llevando durante semanas después de terminar la investigación. Pues te han abandonado, tío, eras un capullo. Me lo ha guardado, objeto. Pues, bueno, me, no sé para qué lo quiero eso. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Para el dueño del bar que me contrató no le gustó la manera en la que cerré el caso, pero cuando vives al margen de la ley no hay mucho con lo que atacar a un detective privado que tiene pruebas en tu contra. <risas> Basura al bolsillo. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. 
La isla Dorwater lleva habitada desde el siglo XIV y todavía guarda muchos de los tesoros que dejaron las tribus perdidas. El romanticismo de estos emocionantes testimonios de creencias ingenuas y primitivas no deben engañarte, no olvides la violencia de sus dioses. Una criatura gigante sigue decorando las paredes de enormes cuevas abandonadas. ¡Es Tulu! ¡Es Tulu! ¡Que está ahí! ¿Se trataba de un dios del mar o del sueño? Nadie lo sabe. Los habitantes de la actualidad... Hijos e hijas de orgullosos cazadores de ballenas todavía recuerdan la misteriosa y turbulenta historia de su pequeño territorio en la costa de Massachusetts. Mm. Así que es una isla perdida por ahí donde adoraban a All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Vale. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Parece que no tengo nada más que hacer por aquí. ¿no? I should get rid of all this stuff. Oh, me ha echado otro trago, ¿no? Dale ahí, hombre. Aupa ahí. Claro que sí, hombre. Muy bien. Eh, vamos a ver el libro de pistas. Partir a Cedar Water, efectivamente. El resto están ya hechas. Aquí me sale un signo de que tengo algo para hacer. Ah, estas son habilidades, pero si hago así, no. Si hago así. Ah, cordura. La de Dios. Tengo un trauma psicológico. Edward Pierce es un veterano de la Primera Guerra Mundial que participó en la ofensiva de Moss Aragón. Es uno de los pocos supervivientes del batallón perdido, dado que las unidades estadounidenses que sufrieron grandes pérdidas por fuego de artillería enemigo y aliados se vieron obligados a mantener su posición durante días, rodeados de cadáveres de sus compañeros, sin comida ni medicina, y sus compatriotas los dieron por perdidos. Estos acontecimientos traumatizaron a Pierce. Ahora toma soníferos y alcohol para calmar las pesadillas que le persiguen. De momento de cordura estoy estable. Confías en tus habilidades y en tu mente cartesiana. Así que dirigirás la investigación siguiendo los hechos, tus convicciones y tu percepción de la realidad. Tus conclusiones son lógicas y fiables. Es decir, todavía me rige bien el cerebro. Ya veremos luego si me voy volviendo loco ¿eh? y ya empiezo a hacer cosas incoherentes. Lugares ocultos. Vale, bueno, la agencia de investigación y la isla de Water a la que tengo que ir. Y oculto, pues, el cuadro. Vale, y el inventario que tengo, el mechero ahí. De ah, mira, el conocimiento. Aquí están los libros. La isla. Esto que no puedo abrir, que me da ahí, no sé por qué los ha recogido. A ver si el dueño del bar. En algún momento igual me serán útiles. El libro de medicina. Que, bueno, supongo que será útil también en algún momento. Venga, vámonos. Vamos a investigar. Salimos. Capítulo 2. Adentrémonos en la locura. Muy bien, señor capitán. Ya casi estamos. En lo que me he hecho el pitillo, hemos llegado. Y 
La llamada de Tulu Que nos va a volver locos Sella es el, el típico nombre de barco, eh Aparentemente la isla es muy, es muy próspera. Hay futuro ahí en la isla, sí. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Mejor no bajarse del barco. Welcome to Dark Water Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Muy bien. Ya me están invitando al call. Tiene pistas. Ir al bar. Objetivos secundarios. Vale, hablar con Brandy. Secundarios. Y el principal es hablar con el notas este que me da formación de la familia. Bueno. Somos balleneros. Hmm, agente Brandy, es policía. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Esta vez información de medicina. No digo los libros no me habría enterado de nada. ¿Por qué la quieren devolver al mar? A ver, señor policía, ¿qué pasa? The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Lo mismo le digo a usted, señor. Continúe. Esos marineros se enteraron por nada. Esto lo supera totalmente. Vamos a preguntar por el almacén primero. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. There's something coming. Something real. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? 
You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you sh. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not saving. Like I want to do this, dude. Hold on. I need to give him some help. If he wants to help, he can help. 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 ¿Y esa gente? Parecen marineros. Contrabandista. Uy, 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 uy. Madre mía. Esta isla está en la mierda, eh. Prohibición. Toma ahí, machetazo. ¿Qué han Prohibición es just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Ah, bueno, claro, estamos hablando de la ley seca. La prohibición de beber. Aquí en la isla hay whisky para todos. Bueno, sí, vamos a tomarnos una copa. Qué agradable. Hey, be careful. Let's get him another drink. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Vale, eh, vale. Entiendo. Estas son respuestas básicas. Estas son utilizando la elocuencia, cosa que no he mejorado, y estas son utilizando la fuerza, cosa que tampoco he mejorado. Así que, uff, eh, vamos a ir de buen rollo. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Well, there is a... Well, Marchese, pedir una bebida, indagar sobre la water. Aquí nos rige la raíz seca. No presionar, es evidente que no. Busco el almacén. Pues vamos a darle a indagar. No, pedimos un trago, hombre. Eso siempre acompaña. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick me up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. Esto afectará tu destino. Uy, uy, uy. Estoy viviendo muchas copas, me parece. Vamos a ver. Vamos a preguntarle por. Bueno, primero por esta. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Pues no me ha dicho dónde está. Vamos a preguntarle... Por la ballena, sí. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. 
What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Pues sí, eran cuadros extraños, sí. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Pues no. Yo creo que ya. Otra va a That'll be all for now. Esa chica tiene algo raro. And then he said, you have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. You said. Miembros del personal del manicomio. Ah, si hay un manicomio aquí, qué sorpresa. La doctora Colden se irá preguntando. Otra vez, no. Nos vas a meter en un lío. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Hmm. El suceso más importante de los últimos 80 años fue pescar una ballena. Algo tendrá de especial. Algo útil por aquí. No. Uy, bonito arpón. A ver qué cantan estos. Tu, tu, tu. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. La pesca milagrosa de la que hemos leído el artículo. I've never heard this song before. 
Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? Where the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. <risa> Están bien servidos. Bueno, y vamos a lo importante. A ver, esta mujer que pinta aquí, que también parece forastera. No. ¿Qué miras, forastero? Pues sí que le gusta beber, nada... ¿Qué hace usted en un sitio como este? Menudo clásico. La clientela es predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Hmm. Respuesta equivocada. Con eso no puedo hablar. Pues nada. Podría haber sacado más información, pero la hemos liado. Pues vamos al objetivo principal. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker and a debtor. Ah, son las deudas. Interesting. Pues debía pasta, eh. 58 dólares de whisky me debes. Bueno. Vamos a ver lo que dice el capitán este de barco. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Los términos de nuestro acuerdo están bien claros. Mantener a sus hombres bajo control, provocarlos es un lujo que no puede usted permitirse. No hace falta que responda a este mensaje. Limítese a pagar a su portador, Cat. Hmm. Carta amenazante. Hostia, yo aquí cogiendo cosas y estas notas aquí. La puerta. A cella. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Yeah, el barco que estaban. En... A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Pues desde que no pescan ballenas. Interesante. Anda, el libro de medicina volumen 2. Este volumen es una guía sobre ética y buenas prácticas para el personal médico. La otra te cura y esta te enseña a curar con ética. Muy bien, volumen 2. Ver ficha de progreso de personaje. ¿Qué será esto? ¿No? Eh, ¿Y cómo miraba yo eso? Conocimientos, volumen 2. Ups, no, ahí no es. Vale. Bueno, hablemos con el capitán. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Hostia, esto está... Hasta que se cae. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifest. The table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be dismissed. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Solo unas pocas fechas con legibles aún son legibles aún. 1890, 1907 y una última medio borrada. El resto del documento está tachado. ¿Quién tendría interés en ocultar esta información? Alguien. Bueno. ¿Eh? ¿Se ha pirado? ¿Dónde vas? 
Fishing equipment. Tanto whisky, una mierdilla, igual haría falta. Mira, ves, señor From capitán. Here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hardworking lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Sus documentos son ilegibles. Preguntar por el almacén, hablar de Darkwater. Vamos a preguntar primero por el almacén. I'm looking for warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. But, eh? Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. Hmm. But you don't know with whom? No, it was none of my business. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Vale, vale, no pregunto. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Esa nota ya la he cogido. A ver sobre la horca del muelle que se están ahí peleando. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Mm. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other? You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? You think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Pues no me queda más de información que sacarle. Si no me equivoco. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Has ganado un punto de personaje. Oh. Vale, 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 vale. 
punto de personaje que se lo podemos poner no vamos mal de fuerza elocuencia pues la verdad que muy elocuente no es el ocultismo anda flojo también 6, 6 aquí no pone cuántos necesito 20, 20 vamos a poner solo en ocultismo ay, no me deja pues no dice que gana un punto este es el camarero del bar y el capitán pistas, tenemos la carta amenazante de Kat, probablemente sea la chica del bar con la que no podía hablar y la lista de carga vale vamos al almacén algo me dice que no voy a entrar por la puerta principal where do you think you're going I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. You again? I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Vale, vale, colega. Sobrevivió el viejo Silas. Hmm. Come on, you could tell me. Now who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Why we don't have a clear conscience. Quiet. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Uff, igual me meto en una pelea, eh. Venga, va, hemos venido a jugar. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. Ooh. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> she sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. Pues, por aquí tampoco voy a entrar. O quizá allí. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? 
Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Vale, han dejado una entrada descubierta, pero... Pero, pero no me he enterado dónde. Vaya. Tengo que entrar en el almacén. Ahí tenemos el policía. Aquí tenemos a los guardias. O sea, estos que se you live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to Saint Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows Saint Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Liquor? Exactly. I'll try to find some for you. Vale. Tenemos una estrategia. Si conseguimos licor, nos desharemos de los guardias. ¿Y este? Esto no dice nada. Ese está callado. Ah, la estatua. La estatua que visitan todo el rato. Del santo no sé qué. Parece ser esta. Ocultismo. Sí, Brendan. Patron saint of San sailors and Santo Patron de Marineros Desecrated. Looks like Phoenician. Or a very primitive runic script. I've never seen anything like it. Uf. Mala gente, eh? Que pican o qué? Parece que no. Shysters, you're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid. Bueno, pues solo hay un sitio donde conseguir bebida, supongo. Bueno, con estos dos no he hablado. Igual tienen algo que decir. 
We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky, that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. Pues no me han dicho mucho. No me han dado mucha información. Vamos a ver si él se enrolla el, el barman este. Bueno, aquí hay gente también. No sé si alguno. Y fumando pipa. Se tiene pinta de contrabandista también. Bah, vale. A ver. Eh, ¿Dónde estás, señor Barman? Sírvame una copa. Eso es. ¿Qué le pongo? Pedir una bebida, comprar una botella de whisky. Eso es. Vamos a preguntar por esta también. What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises, screams, screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners, but I'll say no more. Anything else? Sí, Let's say I want to buy a bottle from you. Choice is yours. Everything's on sale. What would you say to a deal? Your bottle for a service. It's five dollars for everyone, including you. Are you sure? Certain. I guess I'm that desperate. I'm not judging you. Bueno, pues no ha funcionado el pacto. Tenía que pagar. Eh, pues no, tenemos la botella. Bien. Vamos pues a dársela a los borrachos que me van a entretener a los contrabandistas y me van a permitir entrar en el almacén. Aquí hay que hacer de todo. Vamos ya. Toma, hombre. Here. Now sit back and enjoy our performance. Follow me. <coughs> Cheers, you jackass. Oof, I don't feel well. Hey, where are you going? I hope for your sake that I didn't. No, no, it's not what you think. It's just that you sell your stuff at too high a price. Se van a liar las tortas. No digo por si acaso me meto. Que lo que parece que hay es contrabando de licor. Unas escaleras que suben. Let's see. Uh, aquí forzando cerraduras. Shoot. I'll have to find another way to get in. Joder. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Uh, Your idea. turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Oy, 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 oy. Is your name Cat? What of it? 
Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Hostia puta. Que me raja. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Tan my what? Oh. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Joder. Tenía que haberle dado un guantazo. Bueno. ¿Y ahora qué? Tell him to calm down. It was just a little joke. Ay, qué lástima. Igual se hubiera golpeado primero. Habrá que negociar. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We'll return right after. Just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah, aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? Poof, poof, poof. Yo creo que si miento y me pilla me va a partir la cara otra vez. Vamos a darle a I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly, but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. Is that more dangerous than having a drink with you? I'm not kidding. The old families? They were here long before us. And they'll be here long after we're gone. The old families? The descendants of the first whalers. These people truly worship their ancestors. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me, and I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Oof, aquí debiendo favores a la mafia, eh? Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley, I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Get it? Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. 
Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not savoring this. It's fine. It's fine. He's with me. Venga, señorita, me ha puesto en la puerta. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Oh, vamos a reconstruir una escena del crimen. Mm, a ver. Reconstruir escena. What happened here? Vale. Tenemos a Edward que se enfadó, rompió el cristal utilizando la psicología. Vamos a ver qué más descubrimos. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Problemas para dormir. Who has enough money to buy painkillers? But stays in a place like this. Vale, parece morfina o alguna historia de por ahí. Uh, esos son restos, pero esos son personas. No, ¿qué es eso? It smells as bad as it looks. Tripas de pescados. Uh. ¿Y ese? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Uno de los cuadros de Sara. Y parece ser que no hay nada más que pueda descubrir. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Maybe, yep. Podemos hacer una prueba de psicología e intentar convencerle. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. 
So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Whoa. Who are you? <laughs> Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Me parece que la chica se ha mosqueado porque me vaya con el policía a seguir la investigación. Mal rollo. Jardín de la mansión de Hawkins. Pius consigue entrar en el almacén, en el lugar supuestamente abandonado. Hay sorpresas, signos de ocupación reciente y una pintura parcialmente quemada. Su búsqueda se ve interrumpida por el agente Braldi, pero Pierce logra convencerlo para que se una a la investigación. El agente de policía acepta llevar al detective a la mansión de Hawkins. Supongo que podría haber elegido o pasar del policía y haber, y haber colaborado con, con la chica mafiosa o haber seguido con el policía, parece ser. Capítulo 3. Bueno, pues no está mal, hemos hecho los dos primeros capítulos... Ya vemos que el juego tiene diferentes variantes según las decisiones que vamos tomando y según las cualidades que tengamos adquiridas podremos descubrir unas pistas o desbloquear otras acciones o otros caminos. La verdad que parece bastante interesante, así que bueno, pues lo vamos a dejar aquí y continuaremos a partir del capítulo 3 el próximo día. Espero que os haya gustado, disfrutéis del del juego tanto como yo, de descubrir el misterio de lo que ocurre. Nos vemos en la próxima, un saludito, chao chao.